This week on Canada in the Rough, we're snow goose hunting in Manitoba. In recent years, the snow goose populations have skyrocketed and now have become a major issue for not only farmers, but also the fragile Arctic tundra where the snow geese nest every year. As the snow geese pour into their nesting grounds, they feed heavily on the slow growing tundra vegetation. In fact, they are eating faster than the vegetation can grow back and destroying the Arctic tundra in the process. This week, Kevin and Keith Beasley are going to try and help curve the snow goose population as they head to Manitoba to hunt with Mishitoba Outfitting. This spring snow goose season is not only a great way to help curve the goose numbers, but it's an excellent way to fill up your freezer with delicious goose meat. Stay tuned for a waterfowl whiteout as we hit the snow goose migration this week on Canada in the Rough. Well, Keith, we've been waiting all winter for this trip to come. We're now in Winnipeg. we got a three-hour drive, and then we're going to be snow goose hunting. Yeah, it's so great to be in Manitoba. These spring snow goose geese seasons are awesome. Exactly. And uh, you shake off the cabin fever, get out, and we've heard reports that the birds are back in Once big numbers. I was just talking to somebody at the airport, and you said the birds are everywhere. So it should be a great hunt. Let's uh, get packed up, and let's get going. Let's get down there. Right. Plus in the morning. Can you take that for me? Yep. Thanks. Located in western Manitoba resides the base camp of Mishitoba Outfitting. With over 20 years personal guiding experience, owner and operator Chris Wujic started his own outfitting business just over 10 years ago and has developed a world-class operation, offering multiple species waterfowl hunts in the spring and fall, and even fantastic rainbow and brown trout fishing opportunities in his own backyard. This diverse area is a magnet to many waterfowl species due to the never-ending agriculture and immense waterways. And in the springtime, this area is covered in millions of beautiful full-plumaged ducks and geese who are either here to nest or to stop in and feed before continuing their migration. After a hearty first-class meal put on by the Mishitoba staff, Keith and Kevin grabbed a few hours rest before their first day snow goose hunting the following morning, joined by Chris and his good friend Jeff. Big flock just going to take that right side. Wow. Coming on the right. Don't, don't move a muscle. Hold tight. Coming from the left. Oh my gosh. Wow. Look at all those geese. Right on top of us. See this group out front? There's a nice four pack. That's how you want to get ready. Take them, guys. Wow, there's so many, so many. Here we go, here we go. Coming from the left, slow left, slow get left. ready, get ready. Take them, straight up. Nice shoot. Wow, they all came. Reload, guys. Hey, here comes two up top. Can you reach them? Yep. Take them. Guinness. That is nice. <laughs> That's exciting. Flock. flock up here and flock at two o'clock. Guinness, here. Oh, I had a flock at one o'clock again. Get ready. Here we go. Get ready. Take them. Guinness. Nicely done, Jeff. Nice. <laughs> Beautiful bird, eh? 
Yeah, that's a very beautiful bird. Look at yeah. the colors, oh, eh? Look yeah, beautiful, beautiful head. Beautiful. Color down the middle. Wow, well, they are gorgeous birds for yeah. sure. Let's hope some more come in. Wow, wow. This is what you come way out here for. Okay, to see this. Absolutely full. Yep. Everywhere. Left to right. Man, these older birds just don't want to come in. What a shame we don't have the wind today. I bet these birds would decoy way, way better. They'd be right on top of us. Just amazing to be out here and here and see all these geese. That's a three mile line. I love that sound. It's amazing. Right here, snow's in the middle. Right, right here, you want to take the single? Better than nothing. All right, nice blue, get ready. Take them. Get it. Nice shot. All right, reload them, we got a lot more. There's a group of snows coming right here. Get ready. Take them. All right, wow. That's a ton of birds. Exactly, that was great. There's another good flock coming right here. It's at 11 o'clock. Oh my gosh. Right behind us here, guys. It really is just amazing to be out here and here and see all these geese. Oh, God, it's amazing. These on the right are going to come around. Oh, here they They're going to drift down and then have to turn back in. Those mature birds, though, they're just keeping these dang juvies away from us. <laughs> no, they're just there the shooting range, it seems. Almost. The seagull head, lone eagle head, you on it? Kill that one up. Amazes me how smart some of these birds are. I take whatever we can get on a day like today. Well, Chris, what do you think? Well, I think we're done for the day. We had tough conditions for snow goose hunting. We Seen a ton that. of birds though. Oh, there was a ton of birds. Holy yeah, there's no question what's going on here. They're like, they've gone, picked up from roost. We shot a bunch. They're back to roost. We can see probably 10 to 15,000 just a mile away right there in that, that lake. But I mean, my gosh, if that's a bad morning shooting 20, 25 birds, <laughs> that was pretty exciting. Oh, it's a lot of fun. And when we get into some of the younger birds, they work in nice. Um, it's a shame we don't have all the young birds here. Yeah. A lot of those old birds are telling them to Stay out of range. Well, no wind doesn't help that no matter what, right? No, and, uh, you need a snow goose wind. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you know what? Everybody's got to experience this because it's just something to be to see and to be part of. But uh, we got another day tomorrow, so we're excited. So let's go back and get some lunch and uh, pack up. And felt good just to be out in the field again. Oh, <laughs> every day is a good day in the field. Absolutely. What a beautiful Manitoba sunrise. On a normal day, you'd call this a perfect spring day in May. Minus two, well, not really perfect, but minus two, no wind and dead calm. But in a waterfowl world, that's actually a bit of a nightmare. We need some wind and we need a bit of clouds rolling, but we're not gonna get that today. And when you're hunting, you just make it happen. So that's why this spread's so big, got the motion decoys out. Uh, Chris and Kevin actually settled us up last night late. So they got a bit of frost on them, but that'd happen anyway with this weather today if we put them out now. So. We're gonna hold tight here. The birds are gonna be coming in from a few different directions. The migrators are moving and summer stage didn't leave again. So should be a good shoot. We just gotta hope with uh, the no wind we can make it work, but we'll sit tight, see what happens. Two, three o'clock. They're under the, underneath the sun there. Can't quite tell what they are. Just, just be ready. If anybody can ID them before me, please help. The fifth one looks late, but this is the tough part because they're backlit. Second from the right looks white. They look great, but no, I think Canada's. Canada's. Snows. Snows. Canada's. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh no, those are not. Those are all of them. They are snow. Oh, that's horrible. Oh my gosh, those are. 
Here they come, guys. About two. Get ready. Get ready. Take them. Nice. Guinness. Nice shot, Kev. <laughs> That's great shooting. Wow, when they're back, are they hard to identify? Oh, they're horrible First to identify. First pass they made, and we thought they were Canada's, because they're backlit, you couldn't even tell they were pure white. They're so all snow. Tough. Like 75 yards out there, they looked like Canada. They did. And then it wasn't until they curved over here. Two broke off, come back. Here, here. Wow. Here. Good boy. It looks like they're coming. 11 o'clock. Coming towards the silos and might break in here. Yeah. Wow, look at this. Get ready. Get ready. Take them. That was just textbook right there. Absolutely beautiful. Nicely done, Chris. Thank you. That's why you spend all this time with a decoy set up like this, I guess, eh? Yes, it is. Wow. Single ones, single ones decoying right now. Get ready. Take them. Nice job. Guinness. That guy come down from a mile out of the sky. Just Good job. <laughs> There's some breaking. Dude, let's take these two, Kev. Okay. Wow, that is amazing. We have two drop and get ready. Take them. <laughs> Some beautiful, beautiful birds, man. Look at those, like gorgeous. Look at this bird That's on my That's almost lap. like that cross, Look that, that blue. Bird. That is gorgeous. Look at that. Look at that. Big, mature. Look at that. Isn't that a beautiful bird? Speckled through oh, there. Holy jumping. That Big is, head on it, too. That's a stunning he's, bird. Seems like he's got some iron on it. It does look like that. You like see that St. Lawrence trait. Unbelievable. Manitoba. Prairie Province has got it figured out for these birds. Hold. What do we got? Well, we'll let this one come in nice and pretty. Get ready. Take them, guys. Wow. Did you see those come in? Oh, Unbelievable. Unreal. Unreal. Unbelievable. Unreal. That is why you come to these places this right there. Perfect With a great way. guy and a great decoy setup. Those things come on the deck for a mile away and turn right into us on our spread. Oh, my goodness. Good boy. Adult birds. Look at those. Look at those. <laughs> you gotta feel good when you oh, fool adult birds like that. When you're decoying those into 10 yards out of the spread, big mature blues. <laughs> oh my goodness. More coming over here, guys. Everybody hold tight. Get ready, get ready. Take them. Nice shot. These two are right at three o'clock. Get ready. They're gonna be straight up. Get ready. Take them. Nice shot, Kev. Nice job. That was perfect though, good shooting. These are looking real nice. Low group, four, low four, low four. Uh, get ready, get ready, get ready. Pick your birds. Take them. Get us. That sun is high. It's an amazing day. We're getting migration coming behind us from the south and birds are picking up and leaving and feeding to go it's crazy non-stop action you said that it happened today chris Unreal. you said that little south wind would start moving them south wind will bring these young ones up this late in the game it's been awesome
I mean, we're watching birds go, but we're gaining new ones every hour, and birds are looking for a good feed for the go. It's just been a ton of fun. Great morning, that's for sure. Reload them, reload them. We might get a juvie back out of this. We got a blue here? Yep. Get ready. Take them. Well done, they're nice shooting. Wow, amazing. You gotta experience this, it's just amazing. Well, Kev, that was a spectacular week of waterfowl. Unbelievable hunt, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Chris, Chris sure knows what he's doing. That man has been doing this for over 20 years, yeah. and he, he, he sure understands waterfowl. Chris Wuchik knows where they eat, where they sleep, how to decoy them, how to call them, and he showed it to us. That was a short, beautiful waterfowl trip, which is interesting to everybody. You get out there, beyond the birds, he was on them every morning, and then you're home with an amazing trip and adventure like that, and he knew exactly what they were doing. Exactly. Decoy spread and everything. And this spring snow goose is so important right now because the snow goose population is out of control. So it's yeah. important for us to try to get those numbers down. It's critical. We've seen it from the Arctic last year with the wreck on the tundra. Southern Manitoba is where they're stopping over on their way back, and Chris was on them. And that's just a spring hunt with him. If you go with Chris in the fall, tens of thousands of puddle ducks of, of almost every species, Canada geese and snow geese mixed in there. So September, October, November is a prime time to call this guy. And he's got fishing at his resort. You can do the time just exactly. the ice was in, we couldn't do it. We're definitely looking to go back in the fall, but to see the birds that we've seen in full plumage this year was absolutely, absolutely. stunning. The drakes of every species were Unbelievable. There. Well, if you ever get a chance to go to Manitoba and hunt with Chris, you gotta do it. I'm Kevin Beasley. And Keith Beasley. From Canada and the Rough. Enjoy the greatness of Canada and be proud of your hunting heritage. If you enjoyed this video, click on the subscribe button and check out our other hunting and wildlife videos right here. Thanks for watching and remember, enjoy the greatness of Canada and be proud of our hunting heritage.